the you know the first part of developing a good story is obviously um, uh, doing your your research and reading and consuming as much material and, and information as possible, whether it's in the form of news or documentaries or books, you know, I, I found ideas from all of those, those different places. I just, I need to do a lot of research. I need to know what I'm talking about. Um, and that also helps put people at ease. So when you walk into a situation, you say, oh, okay, yeah, of course I know what you're talking about because I've, I've studied all about this. People feel like, you know, you're not just dropping in on them. Um, you know, you really did your research and, and you can kind of um, see where they're coming from. You know, the thing with uh, being a photojournalist is there's a journalist aspect to it, okay? And that needs to play out in terms of the captions that you write and the choices that you make in terms of what you prioritize in your visual essay. Share your story, share your raw material, uh, get feedback, because the editing process is, is, is um, equally important uh, as the, the pre-work before you leave uh, for the assignment. I would advise sometimes to especially if we are talking about someone working alone uh, to get a good editor. It could be a friend, it could be someone uh, to, to help them uh, making sense of that uh, story through, through the photos. And I think you can, you can tell a very good story with, with 15 photos. It can be pretty crushing when you've like spent kind of weeks thinking about uh, an idea and researching an idea and then you go and you try and photograph it and you realize that it's not going to work. That can get pretty depressing. So it's important to remember that that's, that's part of the process. Yeah, so intelligent uh, imagery combined with great research, okay, you know, turned into a 20 picture essay which is put into the right sequence so that you have the best, po best possibility of communicating what it is you're trying to communicate. I think the storytelling part of your documentary work in the beginning is actually more important than the technical quality and the technical quality will grow as you grow. Okay really what are the important aspects and in your edit isolate things that really speak to those themes okay then ask yourself what's the sequence you know, how do I put these things together in such a way that one, I engage an editor, and two, I engage the audience? I would say a good story is a story you can say in one line. If you can explain your story in one line, your show is a good story.